Listen, neighbors, this is going to be a little bit different than your normal confessions at the parts washer. This is going to be a confession with a saw giveaway. That's right, I'm giving shit away. No, we're not giving shit away, neighbors. We're going to give a saw away at this confession session. But you got to stay tuned, neighbors. Timber Brothers, neighbors, thank you. I love you, brothers. Thank you for making my life better. Thank you for buying my saws. Listen, neighbors, it did you dirty on that 310. That's why that crankshaft's broken, neighbors. Okay? Look at this. Look at this, damn it. They're buying a refurbished saw. Look what I was going to sell them, damn it. Look at all that carbon, damn it. Would this saw run and be okay with all that carbon on it? Of course it would. But listen, we're going to just start doing things a little bit different here at the shed shop. And I'm going to tell you exactly how we're going to do it different. But first, I'm going to repent, damn it, because I did you dirty. I get scared. That saw came in as a running saw. I diagnosed it not to have an air leak. I ran it. It ran okay. Great. I'm going to tear it down. I'm going to clean it. And I'm going to sell it. I didn't even think about it. But you know what? This is the point of confessions at the parts washer. If you do your neighbor dirty, just say you're sorry. It's not a big deal, neighbors. Hey, their 250 finally ran out of gas. Why do you think I'm paying for it? Listen. Listen, neighbors. If you don't believe in Jesus, I don't give a shit. I really don't. I don't care right now. I love you, neighbor. And I'm going to give you a saw if you win. I'm going to tell you at the end of the video exactly how. All you got to do is watch this one video. It's going to be a very simple set of instructions. And then one of you is going to win a saw. And I'm going to tell you exactly which saw. We're going to redeem it right in front of you. Okay? On the, on the boob tube. That's it. There's no waiting until a certain number of subscribers. Only the people watching this video are going to be eligible for this. This saw. Completely free. Redeemed in front of you on a bench. And then ship to you. Or if you're a local neighbor, come pick it up at the shed shop. And we'll put it on the boob tube if you want. Okay. So, from now on at the shed shop. Any customer? Neighbors? Listen. Careful. You bring your saw to me. And you just want to figure out what's wrong with it and fix it? Fine. But, if we got to tear it all the way down. To do a crankshaft seal or something. The only option is to redeem it, neighbors. That means we're going to break it down on a bench. We're going to hopefully teach some people stuff. Tell them a little bit about you, your story, your saw, etc., etc. Then we're going to come over to the parts washer with it. And we're going to do what we've been doing over here. We're going to tell you neighbors what we've done wrong in our life. Like doing our neighbors dirty. I didn't even put an endoscope in this. Neighbors, usually I put a camera down the bore of a saw. That I tell a neighbor... It's got good seals. Hey, listen. This saw is extremely low hours. I can tell. Look at that, neighbors. I'm doing you dirty by wasting solvent. And then when I waste the solvent, I'm going to get scared when I got to go spend $300 on solvent to get another $200 to dispose of it. Neighbors, listen. If anybody knows anything about chainsaws, let me get a flashlight. Y'all got to see this. I might have to flip you around for this one. Okay, we're going to try and keep this video. Hey, don't leave. Damn it, I'm seriously giving away a salt and it's going to be so simple instructions. It's not going to be confusing. Only people watching this to the end are going to qualify. Okay, listen, neighbors. I don't know how well you can see, but guess what? This thing still has like incredible cross hatches. Like it doesn't even look like it's been fully broken in yet. That's just my opinion. I don't know, damn it. I got no history on a saw. This neighbor didn't want a warranty written out. He just wanted my $391. And for me to give him $75 for this trade. I said, fine, neighbor. That's a good deal because then I can actually try and recoup some of the money I'm losing on only selling that saw for $575. Okay, he knew what it was worth. He he he, he knew I could have got six and a quarter for that. But anyways, listen, neighbors. That's beautiful. Okay? That is not. The piston itself, machine lines, looks brand new. It's beautiful, damn it. It's beautiful. But redemption, no. So, that's the thing, neighbors. If if you bring your saw here, 
and it's going to need rebuilt. There's only redemption. We're not giving you filthy, vile, disgusting shit back. When we're at the parts washer with your saw, we're going to wash filth away. And I'm going to wash my filth away, damn it, with the blood of the lamb. Because I'm going to confess my sins one to another. Okay, neighbors? I'm giving a saw away while I repent and lament because I was going to do the Timber Brothers dirty. Sometimes we don't even know it, but damn it. That crankshaft broke. Why? Why did, a, why did an O25 just run for five and a half hours on one tank? Maybe six and a half, damn it. I got to look at the record and see what time I started that damn saw. What time did I post redeemed? Redemption. Their saw. Damn it, that saw's been running since I started that video. All I did was bar it up, take it outside, and start it. Okay, neighbors? If there's a conviction, neighbors, that you said something, lied, did somebody dirty, half-assed something, I was tired. John Luna, right now, I'm thinking about how I did you dirty. Damn it, I didn't wash all your parts because I don't have an organizer to put your screws in. Damn it, I did you dirty. I put your dirty chit in, which clean chit? In a brand new bin. I put the new wine in old wineskins. Damn it. We ain't gonna keep doing this shit. At Come on, neighbors. We're redeeming, damn it. Mike. Neighbor Mike. I know I sent you a private video about not being able to get parts. But guess what, neighbor Mike? Your price ain't changing, neighbor. But we're redeeming your saw, damn it, while we're waiting for steel to get back up. We have to. Because you know what, neighbors? I'm tired of cutting corners. To save money. And shit ain't getting done right. And it's costing me too much time. And it's making me tired. And I'm getting more disgusting, filthy, and vile. Why? Because I wanted to leave OEM crankshaft seals on that? Guess what, neighbors? You ain't got to buy OEM stuff. Don't worry about that part. Listen, neighbors, I'm just inspecting. Because we don't want to take a chance. I'm looking at the wear on the skirt side. And I'm glad we're redeeming this all. Damn it. Because now I can make sure that the Timber Brothers, I don't do them dirty by making them go look bad out in the community with a saw that don't run right. Or it's ugly. Okay? We don't mind a little bit of ugly. We don't mind our bar and jam being ugly. We don't mind a little bit of ugly. But damn it, we want the inside. We want the heart. This is the heartbeat of the saw, damn it. This, this is the temple that holds the heartbeat. Damn it. Listen, y'all, don't you understand the king of the universe is using what I know to teach me lessons? Despise not the chastening of the Lord. For the Lord chastens those whom he loves, neighbors. I feel so loved by the king of the universe right now for letting me learn lessons, not letting me go to sleep, helping me not. Go to Maine and beat Brock's ass for putting his hands on my kid. Damn it, Brock. I will forgive you, but mother... I, I can't right now, neighbor. Mother... Yeah, I'm not cussing. Because we're washing the filth off, neighbors. The Bible says not be a stumbling block, damn it. I'm trying not to be, damn it. But if the king of the universe tells me to come on the boob tube and say, God damn it, I have to. Because my life is his, damn it. And that's why he's washing the filth away. And he's using the chainsaws and cutting corners and me being lazy. Listen, we all get tired. We're all human beings. But we got to stop making excuses, neighbors. Okay? Listen, if you're tired and you cut a corner and use a cheap bolt on my car or the wrong bolt, but you're like, ah, it'll be good enough. And that bolt falls off and my car flips over and kills somebody's baby. Damn it. All because he was tired. But guess what, neighbor? You know what the beautiful thing is? If you're tired and you do that and you wake up the next morning and you feel shitty about it, damn it, tell your boss, hey, I'll probably lose my job. But the king of the universe says in the red letters, hey, listen, don't leave, damn it. Neighbors that are tired of hearing Jesus, don't leave. I promise you I'm giving a fucking saw away. Yeah, I said it this time, neighbors. Okay, because I don't give a shit what they believe, Christian neighbors. I just want them here to know I love them. I don't give a shit if they believe what's going on. I just want to give them free shit. Okay? Let them know their love. Damn it. 
A lot of this confession is at the porch washer. It's going to be for the people that are professing the name of Jesus. Running around saying, God, 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 God. Y'all neighbors, listen. We're going to stop doing that if we believe in Jesus. And if you think I'm crazy, fine. If he don't convict you, fine. That's fine, neighbors. When I say we, I mean me and my house. I don't care what you do in your home. That's between you and the king. Okay? I'm going to tell you what kind of saw I'm giving away right now. And then, and then neighbors, and then I'm going to tell you how you're going to win it. Okay? Listen. This is a lesson. This MS310 is a lesson. That thing running, listen neighbors, I'm not lying. You can watch the chronology of the videos I'm posting, the shorts, okay? The redemption of their saw. I've already got me putting their saw back together. I just ain't going inside because my conviction's been damned. I got to stay out here and wash the filth and vile nastiness off. I'm going to tell you the saw I'm giving away. And that saw is going to be an example of what the process of any neighbor that wants their chit fixed at the shed shop. Their saw is going to have to go through that if, if it doesn't need simple service. If we find a major problem while we diagnose your saw, which we're going to do on a camera in the vice until we get shed shop too. If the king wants us to have it. If not, damn it, fine. Fuck it. We'll burn the rest of it down. We'll put the Christmas trees back in here. The pagan holiday bullshit. Okay, neighbors? That's what we'll do. Here's the saw. Hold on. Listen, neighbors. Hey, neighbors. Derek and Chris, does this look familiar, neighbors? I'm going to let you all know about this video so you can see this. Listen, neighbors, they're tinkerers like me. And a lot of times the problem is the chittiest stuff I get comes from other tinkerers like me. Other people that know small engines. Other people that are selling chainsaws out there. But these seem like honest neighbors. I don't know. We're going to find out. Because we're going to put this saw on a boob tube and we're going to redeem it. And we're going to show you exactly what your saw, if you want it worked on in a chet shop, is going to go through if it fails the diagnostics. And if it passes it like Mike's did... But then still has a problem. Damn it. The only solution is, neighbor, you either pay me your bill and get your shit out of my chop, and I'll love you, and we can sit down and chat outside because it's hot in here. <laughs> That's why I said you got to get your shit out of my chop. Okay? Or you can have it redeemed. Okay? And eventually, I'm going to do a video with prices for every specific saw that's common. I'm going to do common steals. Okay, common Husqvarna's, and I'm going to set a price. That's going to be my cost. You're going to pay for your parts. But before we post your video, if you allow it on the boob tube, you're going to get a discount. If you don't want it on the boob tube, no discount, neighbor. Sorry. Sorry. Because we're redeeming shit here. Okay, neighbors? You want to know how you win this? It's going to be so simple, neighbors. If you're not already a subscriber, you have to subscribe to the channel right now. You have to like this video. And you have to go down in the comments and say, hey neighbor, I wanna win the Husqvarna 240 and watch it get redeemed. Don't mess it up, neighbors. One, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you have to subscribe to the channel. Two, you have to give this video a thumbs up. And three, you have to comment down below. Hey, neighbor, I want to win that Husqvarna 240 and watch it get redeemed. It's three steps, neighbors. I'm going to tell you one more time. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, you have to subscribe to the channel. If you are, you have to hit the thumbs up. If you've already subscribed to the channel now, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Simple, neighbors. Damn it. You got to be subscribed and hitting that thumbs up like in this video. The third thing is you have to go down in the comments. And you have to say it exactly like this. Hey, neighbor. I want to win that Husqvarna 240 and watch it get redeemed. If you don't get it right, neighbors, you're not eligible. And then everybody that does that, we're going to put you in a fishbowl. 
And guess what we're going to do? Each phase of this redemption, we're going to draw names and put them into another fishbowl. And that means you're still eligible. But you're going to have to follow the redemption the whole way through to find out who wins at the end. That's how it's going to be, neighbors. Okay? That's it. That's it, neighbors. I love you, neighbors. Damn it. I'm going to lament some more. And I'm going to keep advertising Timber Brothers Tree Service of Lewisburg, Tennessee. Damn it. They're going to put their information in every video I make about them if they want you to call them. Damn it. Because I'm not putting their number up. They got to do it. Okay? My part is just I'm doing my word. I told them. If I do you dirty, I'll tell you. I did you dirty. And if you do me dirty, hey, neighbor, just say I did you dirty. And let's not say, no, you didn't do me dirty. Damn it, I did you dirty. Cutting corners. Because I'm scared about money. Damn it. Just like at Walmart today. Damn it. I repent, King Jesus. I'm so sorry, neighbor. Neighbor Jesus. Even at Walmart. I'm talking to him. I'm like, damn it. I said I was coming up here with courage. I was going to give him a credit card. I don't give a shit. Spent $1,000 on tubs if I had to. To get organized. To buy the shit I need to be more productive. But I keep getting scared. Damn it. My, my meteor's running out. I don't want to pay an extra 3% to put it on a credit card. Damn it. And then risk paying interest. Even if I feel like the king wants me to. Damn it, I'm scared. But you know what, neighbors? The more I have to come and confess this chick to you, the less I'm going to want to do it. And that will clean my character. And that's what you got to understand. God damn it. Lowercase g. Okay, neighbors, I'm sorry. I'm not going to stop saying that until he tells me to. You think I'm crazy. Again, neighbors, I'm so sorry about all the Jesus shit. Those of you that don't believe, damn it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I love you. I want you to stay here. And I want you to. What? Number one. Become a subscriber if you're not. If you are, great. You've already done step one. Step two. You have to hit the thumbs up and like this video. Damn it. Do it right. Step three. You have to go down in the comments. And you have to say, Hey, neighbor. I want to win that Husk Varna 240. And watch it get redeemed. I've said it a ton of times. Don't mess it up, neighbors, because I'm being strict on this, damn it. There is no grace for mistakes. Typos? Okay, maybe. No, we're doing this right because we're washing the vile filthiness wrong. Off. Do it right. Do it right, neighbors. Okay? Let me give you this free shit. You ain't paying a damn thing. I'm going to ship it to you. Listen, watch. Here, let me encourage you, neighbor. Don't go yet. We're almost done. I promise. Watch this shit. Okay, neighbor, watch. Watch, neighbor. Watch, neighbor. Oh, they said this was almost done. I don't know, neighbors. It might just be the carb adjustment. You did tell me it needs to be tuned in. But guess what, neighbors? I don't know if that's got an air leak or nothing. We're going to do it the whole way. And guess what? Neighbors Derek and neighbors Chris, I got to do it, neighbors. All the shit you brought me. We're going to redeem it on the channel. Okay? And if you did me dirty at all, if you feel convictions at all, neighbors, tell me. And if I feel you did me dirty, I'll say, yeah, you did me dirty, but I don't give a shit. Let's move forward. Okay? I love you, neighbors. I'm happy about our deal today. Listen. I told neighbor Derek while he was here, I was going to give him $100 plus this. This I'm not going to tell you all to saw they can if you want. It was only a part saw, but it weren't the cheap parts. Okay? Neighbors, not cheap. Okay? And then I only gave him $60. I told him I'd give him 50 He said, could you do 60 And I thought, maybe he just wants to win. He's a salesman. So I said, yeah, all right, I'll do 60 I had $90 in my wallet. I'm telling the truth about that. I got several hundred dollars in the bank, but I only had 90 in my wallet. Damn it. I've been trying to keep cash low, so I stopped buying chainsaws. Damn it. <laughs> I got to sell chainsaws, not buy them. Damn it. I'm drowning in chainsaws, neighbors. Anyways, I told him straight up. As they started unloading their stuff, I said, neighbor, I did you dirty. I felt conviction to give you a hundred bucks. I only got 90, damn it. But here's the other 30 and I'm sorry I did you dirty, neighbor. And I hope that made his day. Because if I feel like I did you dirty, neighbors, I trust the king's going to convict me. And I'm going to make it right. Just like I am right now, damn it. That's why I ain't going to sleep. How the hell can you go to bed? When you're filthy and vile and disgusting. My sheets are filthy, vile and disgusting. Right now, I got clean sheets to put on my bed. 
Why have I been sleeping in my filthy, vile, disgusting sheets? I don't know, maybe because I'm just exhausted and I just keep getting on my bed and pass now. Even though I've washed myself up. But my dog's dirty, damn it. She won't stay off my bed, damn it. Okay? All my brothers that I've lived with. Hey, neighbors, if you're here, I won't say your names right now. Okay, neighbors? But hey, I'm crazy, right? No, neighbors. I'm in touch with the king of the universe and I don't give a shit what he does with my life or where he does it. It's his channel. You don't have to believe in him to be here. I'm going to keep giving Saul's away as I feel led to, neighbors. One more time if you're still here, if you haven't done it already. You have to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you are already subscribed, great. Step one's done. Step two, you have to give this video a thumbs up. YouTube shows me. I figured it out last night. Damn it. Don't lie. I'll know. The, the stupid tech guy will know. And step three. You have to go down in the comments and say it exactly. Type it exactly like this. Hey, neighbor. I want to win that Husqvarna 240 and watch it get redeemed. That's it, neighbors. And we're going to redeem it on the channel real soon because I'm catching up. Damn it. I'm going to keep work, 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 work. Just like my daddy did. All my daddy does. Work, 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 work. Damn it. I love you, Daddy. If you're watching your crazy ass son embarrass you on the internet, I love you. I'm sorry you don't understand who the king is. Okay? Okay, neighbors, that's it. This has been Confessions at the Parts Washer. I did the Timber Brothers dirty, and I'm gonna make it right, and I'm gonna wash my filthy vileness off over here. Okay? And the filthy vile carbon deposits and buildups on our chainsaw. And I'm gonna put a different crank in it. And I'm gonna put brand new bearings on it, most likely. I don't know. I told him I don't know if my cranks over there got good bearings on them or not. But damn it, if there's any doubt, I'm going to say when in doubt, damn it, throw it out. Okay, neighbors, that's it.